All right, today I wanna to talk about what I think are the three greatest Jack Reacher novels. And I'm sure a lot of people are gonna disagree with me, uh, but on this top three, you will not find Killing Floor. I know everyone says the very first novel was the best, and I, I for sure put it up there, probably in the top five, but for me, there are three. And they come a little later in the series. I think they're around the middle of where we're at right now. So like 14, 15, 16, something like that. But they're, um, oh no, that's not quite right. So, but these three books are the only three books that take place directly after one another. So, you know, the first book happens, the very next book picks up right where you left off at the very end of the last one. He's still recovering from the last one, dealing with consequences from the last one. Then there's a book in between, which is a prequel, and then the very next book picks up where the previous one left off. So these books are 61 hours, worth dying for, and a wanted man. These are the three best Jack Reacher novels, uh, and, and for a lot of reasons. Um, but I love... I love that in these books he faces the elements a lot. That's like extremely cold weather. Um, when when we start off in 61 hours, he this story takes place in South Dakota. So and it's like middle of winter. So there's like terrible snowstorms throughout this. In fact, a snowstorm is what makes him become stuck in the town that he's in. But a fantastic story unfolds, and we get an awesome antagonist. One of my favorite. Um, this, uh, I, I think he's a Mexican cartel drug lord. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's, it, it, it's Mexico. Um, could be somewhere in South America though. But anyway, um, you know, and, and by the end of the book, Jack has to face his fears, which is, you know, claustrophobia. Jack hates being in confined spaces and, um, he has to go into this crazy underground bunker. I don't want to ruin it for people who haven't read it um, because I am going to give these as a suggestion. Like you could, you could skip all other Jack Reacher novels and start with these three. And I think you will be hooked for life. In fact, I, the first one I ever read was the middle book worth dying for. And it hooked me right away. Um, then I had to go back and see what happened before and then what happened after. Uh, but man, um, yeah, the end of 61 hours, there is a huge cliffhanger. The biggest cliffhanger of any of the Jack Reacher novels happens in 61 hours. At the end of that book, you're not exactly sure what happened. And you don't know until the next book comes out. Or at least until they announce the next book what was going to be happening. So, um, Worth Dying For, the follow-up book. Like I said, it's the one that got me loving Jack Reacher. It's what started this whole journey for me. Uh, way back in, I guess it wasn't way back. I, I didn't discover Jack Reacher until like 2014, I think. Um, but ever since then, I, you know, I've been obsessed. I've read every book several times over. Um, you, you know, I'm on here doing reviews, talking about the Amazon series. Worth Dying For started it all, and that takes place in Nebraska. And I just love this story. I love the 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 family, uh, the Duncans that Jack has to contend with in this story. Um, Jack gets uh, pretty beat up in this story. Um, a, a lot of crazy, cool... Um, he, he has to fight a lot of, like, um, you know, ex-Nebraska corn huskers, right? He has to fight all these guys that have been hired as, as basically just muscle by this uh, rich, well-to-do family in this town. And, uh, man, it's such a great story. Such a fantastic story unfolds. And, and what what it ends up being, you know, the main issue of the story, what you end up finding out, you know, you're trying to figure out this whole story, like, what are these people transporting? What are they smuggling? What is this about? Is it guns? Is it drugs? What is it? And when you find out what it is, it, it's like, oh my God, this is a dark ass story. Dark, dark. Uh, like I said, it's what hooked me. Fantastic book. Can't recommend it enough. And then following that, immediately following that. And so, so what was cool is, I didn't even mention this, but at the beginning of Worth Dying For, Jack is dealing with some injuries from 
the end of 61 Hours. And, and that, that's, this is how you know that these books take place right after one another. In fact, those two books, 61 Hours and Worth Dying For, pretty sure came out in the same year, like six months apart. So it was meant to be one long story in a way. Um, and I just think that, that in that period of time, I think that Lee Child was just on fire. I think he was you know, on a serious run and he just went with it. And I think that might have been his um, apex mountain, you know, in those three books. I think it might have been his, his prime, if you look back through the Jack Reacher novels. I think that was his writing prime. Anyway, um, right after Worth Dying For, then there is a prequel book called The Affair. The Affair, also a very good book, but has nothing to do with this story. But this story, a wanted man that takes place right after, picks up right after Worth Dying For. You know this because Jack Reacher has a severely broken nose throughout the entire book. It affects the way he talks. It affects, um, you know, his sense of smell. It affects the fact that he has headaches the entire book. Um, and it is also a fantastic story. It's all about a kidnapping, and Jack Reacher is somehow brought into it, not realizing that he's part of a kidnapping, but... You know, he's a hitchhiker, and he gets picked up by these people who have kidnapped someone, and um, so he's dragged into another badass story. And this is a uh, one that kind of goes all over the place. I think at one point they end up in, like, New Mexico or something. So, um, But because it is a basically a road trip book, the first half of the book or so is in a car or, you know, on the road. And uh, it, it's great. It it's got some really great qu twists and turns. And then the ending of the book is like, you would never think that it would get to the point that it gets to. Like, like when you start out reading this book, when you're halfway through, no way can you picture where this story will end up. It's pretty damn amazing. Anyway, those are my top three. Those are my absolute favorite Jack Reacher books. I'd love to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Um, or if you're listening to the podcast, send me an email. Uh, send me an email at brettscottvlogs at gmail.com uh, and let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me, th let me know your top three Jack Reacher books. And if you enjoy videos like this, um, this isn't all I do. I don't just do Jack Reacher reviews, but I do do a lot of them. Um, I plan on reviewing every single book. I plan on reviewing the Amazon series when it comes out, but I also do have other stuff on this channel. I talk about entertainment, pop culture, all types of stuff, even share stories from my questionable youth from time to time. So if, if you are interested in that at all and, and getting something new, fun, hopefully interesting in your feed every day, then please subscribe for more or favorite or follow. And um, if you do decide to stick around, then I will likely talk to you again tomorrow.